Hey, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com, and I get a lot of views on my blog related to this, so I figured I'd make a video. It's how to handle routes in your ASP.NET Core MVC Web API projects using attributes rather than the conventions. So what I have open is the default Web API template I'm using .NET new. So I'm in VS Code here, and this is the values controller that it creates. So if we look at the route attribute on our class, um, everything's prefixed with API slash controller. And then obviously this would be represent values would be the value that we pass in here. Um, and then subsequently, this get um, is marked with the HTTP get attribute and then so forth with post and put and there's some other parameters here that we can use. So like I said, this is right out of the template. So I just want to run this and then execute it in Postman and you can see that how the actual route um, kind of works with just by default. So if we go to localhost 5000, we're running this on, like I said, it's prefixed with slash API and then values. So in our actual um, controller here, we didn't have to specify values. We just specified this um, controller in brackets and everything, the, the magic happened here. So I'm not really a particularly a fan of the conventions. I'd rather be able to define how I want my actual routes to be per method um, inside a controller. I don't necessarily want every controller, the name of it, to be relevant for the route. So I'm going to show you how you can do that, uh, and it's pretty simple. All right, so what I'm going to do is I don't want the values part of the controller to be a part of the name. So first thing I can actually do is I really don't need this route attribute at all, so we can just entirely get it, uh, get rid of it. And one other thing is that because we got rid of it, now we need to specify specifically how this method gets invoked and what its route's going to be. So what you can do is actually specify as the first parameter of what you actually want the route to be. So I could do uh, API values, which would be pretty much what we had before. But let's say I actually want to call this API things. So let's get rid of that comment. And So we're just going to rename this method just for the sake of it. But now we would find the full path actually to this route. So if, let's restart our app. We'll go back into Postman. <clears throat> All right, let's go back into Postman. And now if I rerun this, this route doesn't exist anymore. So it should give us a 404, which it does. But now if I go to API things, now we're getting our data again. All right, so let's create another route um, just to kind of prove this a little bit more. So let's just duplicate this one and call get more things and we'll call this route more things. Let's return some different values here. So let's call this three and four. Let's rerun this. Postman. So our route is still here. Everything's good. And now I can call more, thing, more things and I should get three and four, which I do. So just added another route the exact same way. You can have as many routes, obviously, in a controller as you want. So let's do one more thing, which add a, another HTTP method uh, to the same route. Let's jump back to VS Code. All right, so let's add a... Let's add the same method here. But instead, we're going to make this a ATP post. We're going to use the exact same path. And we're actually going to make this void. And we won't return anything. So this is basically just going to do nothing but we should still actually get <clears throat> a valid status code and not a 404. Let's jump back to Postman. 
All right, so we got more things. Our get call, it's still working. If we do our post call, we get a 200 OK. Um, because even though we're returning void, our route still exists. And then 200 OK is going to be the default, even though we're not really executing anything. But our, our method is actually executing. So you can see how you can use routes um, and just get rid of the route attribute, define your HTTP methods on, um, on the methods themselves that you actually want to execute. Um, it's just an alternative to actually using the conventions that are, that are defined. You can still use everything uh, that you're used to in terms of also having route parameters like values 5. This is all still very applicable. Just you can basically get rid of the route attribute from the controller and then specify the full path of the route in your, um, for your actual methods. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out codeopinion.com for more. Thanks.